Hey guys, hello and welcome back to another episode. Today we're solving a current, a present Amazon problem. This is a problem actually asked by Amazon right now. Like if you're interviewing for like the Alexa team or the machine learning team or, or just one of those high tech SDE or SWE roles, th this is one of the questions being asked right now. And uh, feel free to pause the video just to read through what the problem is asking, but <laughs> I find it so many words. So I'll just explain from the examples, okay. So given a string S, given this string right here, hold on, let me pick. So given S, okay, which is the string, and given a set of start and end indices, okay, so this is our, our, our set of start indices and indices, we want to return an array that contains packages in closed columns. And a closed column is just a pipe symbol and a second pipe symbol. This is considered a closed column and the asterisks are considered packages. So in this case, where the first string is one, and the last and the end string is five. So we just have to take this string, okay? So S, say let's call it S new. S new is just gonna be equal to, okay? The first string, again, keep in mind that this string is, is, is one base, not zero base. So the first string is this pipe symbol. Okay, then we have an asterisk, then we have a second asterisk. Okay, so this is one, this is two, this is three, and we have a pipe, this is four, and then we have one more asterisk, okay? this is. The, the asterisk is five. So giving one and five. So this is what we have. So in the case of one and six, our S is gonna be something like this. It's gonna look like the previous one where there's a pipe, asterisk, asterisk, pipe, asterisk, and one more pipe. Okay, so let me change the color just so it, it kind of makes no sense. So this is our index one. Again, it's not zero base. This is two, this is three, this is four, and this is five, and this is six. So it's just saying, given the start, a set of starts and a set of end indices, we want to return an array that contains the amount of packages inside closed compartments. Okay. So in the first case, this is the first case, start and end indices. There's only two packages in a closed compartment because remember a closed compartment is just surrounded by two pipes. So there's just two. This guy is not closed, right? Because it's open on this side. So we return two for the first guy. Given the second one, okay, there's two in this closed compartment. And there's one in this closed compartment, right? Because there's a pipe here and there's a pipe here. So that gives us three. So we return that. Again, like I said, feel free to pause the video, read through what it's asking for. Also feel free, um, there's more constraints and stuff here. And there's a few other examples. So feel free to pause the video just to read through some of this. There's a few sample cases, but we're gonna go ahead and solve this and test some of the sample cases. Okay, so as always, let's go ahead and define our function, right? Okay, Amazon provides an empty function for you. The function is already named, it's called number of items. Okay, so the name of the function is right here. It's already given, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so it's number of items. For now, I'm gonna say pass, for now. And I'm, I just wanna go ahead and create my driver code to kind of test this function. I mean, right now I can't test him because he's doing nothing, but later I'll test him. Then to create my driver code, okay, let's just go ahead and take the first example case, okay? The first example was, was this guy, so I'm gonna create my S, okay? I'm just gonna say S equals, okay? It's a string equals, that's the pipe, pipe comes first, okay, then after pipe, there's two asterisks, and it's the second pipe, it's one asterisk, Third pipe and one asterisk. Okay, this is this is S in, 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 in the first example they're given right here in this example. Okay. Then next our start indices, right? Again, Amazon provides you these variables. Once you click on the link to take the to take the test. Okay, start indices is this on our end indices. Okay, and indices are five and six okay now we have this so, so now let's go ahead and just call the function and i like to use this print statement to call the function but before we call it let's go ahead it says <clears throat> this function takes an s takes an s which is the string takes in our start indices and our end indices so let's go ahead and call this function in the, in the print statement okay for now, I'm gonna run him. He should do nothing for now, okay? None, returns none, he does nothing because the function says pass, okay? So now we've defined the function. Let's go ahead and create a variable that's gonna keep track of our output. So I'm just gonna call this variable output. 
and I'll set him equal to an empty list because this is what is going to keep track of the output. Let me make this bigger so maybe we can see it more. Okay, this guy's going to keep track of our output. So now I have this. So next we're going to use a for loop. For I'm going to create two variables called start and you're going to see why in a second. It's for start and end in zip. Okay, start indices. And I'll show you what the zip function does, especially when you're using it in a for loop. Okay. So all it does is I'm going to print. Hmm, let me use the F string. F. Okay. What do I want to print? I want to print a list. Uh, yeah, let's put in a list of my start and my end. So, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and run this and just kind of to visualize. Okay, good. So all we do is zip each start. I mean, you see, we have one start here and one end. We zip together as an array. We have a second start and a second end. We zip that together. That's all we're doing, just so the pairs can go together. That's all zip does. So for now, I'm going to comment this just in case we, we need him later. But I'm going to clean up the code later. Okay, so let's create a variable called count. We set him equals to zero. And this is the variable that's going to count the number of asterisks we have but we'll see how we do that later on okay then we're gonna go, go on so now i want to create a new string new string based on this start and end indices use it to create a new string out of this original string we were given okay so i'm just gonna call it new s okay and keep in mind we're gonna have to do it twice because this for loop is gonna run twice first it's gonna run for this set of start and end and do whatever it's doing and then it's gonna run for this set of start and end and do what it's doing. So this new string will be different in each of these two iterations based on the start and the end indices. But anyways, new S is gonna be the previous S. We wanna slice it now. Okay, how do we wanna slice it? We wanna slice it by start. Okay, it's gonna be from start to end. But this is wrong and I'll show you why. Let's go ahead and print new S and see what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna create a print statement. Okay, just to print the new S for each of the set test cases so let's as usual let's use the s string so let's have our start on that so for just so we can visualize this i'm gonna reprint our start on our end so for this set of start and end for this set of start and end okay here's a, what our new s looks like here's what our new s looks like if you have the set of start and end indices here's what our new s looks like okay let's go ahead and print it okay good good you see, in the first one where we have one and five, remember we're not zero based, right? We're one based, right? So we only have asterisk, asterisk, pipe, asterisk, right? We have the last one correctly, okay? but however, we don't have the first pipe. We're missing it. We're missing the first pipe, as you can see from, from, from these examples we gave, right? Wipe this up so we can see, okay? So he should look something like this. For the first set, the first set should look something like this, okay? And the second should look something like this, okay? So for one and five, it should look like this. For one and six, it should look like this. So you see both start with a pipe. Or in our, in, in, in our example, the, in our solution, they don't start with a pipe. This is because we, we need to start from start minus one rather than start. So let's go ahead and print this and just see what it looks like. Bam, now we have the pipes, okay? I hope this kind of makes sense, okay? I hope this kind of makes sense. And let me change this to um, bracket so it doesn't look like it's, it's a list, okay? So it looks more like this problem. So okay, for one five, we have this. For one six, we have this just exactly like the descriptions, right? Okay, now I'm gonna let me also change it here to, to a tuple <laughs> just so it's easier to picture. But we're probably not gonna need okay. Good, let me go ahead and comment this out again. Keep in mind, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean this code up later just and remove all the comments, but for now, just bear with me. So, next, since we have a new string, okay, we're gonna have to define a new start and a new end because. We only care about, just like the problem says, we only care about, even though we have this option, we only care about from one pipe to the next pipe. We don't care what's outside of it. Okay, we, we don't care about from the beginning pipe to the end pipe. We don't care anything after that. We care about counting the asterisks in between two pipes. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna have to define new bounds. Okay, and I, I'm gonna do this by saying, so let new start. Okay, this is going to be our new start index based off our new string and he's just simply going to be from our new s we want to get python has something called the index we want to get the index of the first pipe we see okay that's what this is going to do for us right so let's go ahead and print new start just so we can see what it is 
okay the index of our first pipe okay our first pipe for this string okay let, 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 let's go ahead and delete this okay yeah, just so we can see both first pipe for this string is index zero correct again for now just bear that it's index zero although we're, we're one index but it, it doesn't matter in this case because we've taken advantage of knowing we're one based at this point so it doesn't matter at this point right so we have the right index zero and zero okay in this is okay so i'll just go ahead and comment these two guys back for now so now now our our end our, <laughs> so to get the new end is kind of tricky but i want to show you guys how to get it okay so i want to print a series of things that's going to lead this lead it to us right so first we want to do to get the new end okay first i want to reverse this string i want to reverse this string so the end is going to be our start so to reverse this string okay okay to reverse this string i'm going to print s new of negative one okay this reverses it so let's make sure it reverses okay good so we have the string yes it's reverse version and be sure to check to make sure we have this second string yes the reverse version okay so we've successfully reversed him okay so now we've reversed him let's find the index of our first pipe from this reversed string okay and you're gonna see what we're about to do in a second so the index of our first pipe once you reverse this guy is gonna be this guy which is if you reverse him, it's gonna be the second index from the front okay so uh, let me just go ahead and print both so you can see you can kind of visualize what I'm saying okay that's fine okay good so this is the reverse version index of our first pipe if this is index 0 this is index 1 okay second example this is our reverse version the first pipe is 0 so, so we have the index of our first pipe of the reverse version okay but we need to take it one step further okay now to get his location in the actual original string we're gonna have to subtract this from length okay you're gonna have to subtract it from from the length of the string minus one okay this is how we get it okay so let's print what this is okay good so now let's consider the original string Let, let's ignore the reverse string for now i'll take him out let's consider the original okay this is the original this is index zero this is index one index two index three see our last pipe is index three okay, this is the original index zero index one two three four five see our last pipe is index five so, so so it's correct so far so i can go ahead and take out the print statement because i don't need to print him i really just want to set him equal to our new end okay so now we've created our new start and our new end okay so from here it's kind of straightforward okay let's just go and say go 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 to a for loop okay let me leave some space let me say for i in range okay what range do we want to go we want to for each of these two guys, we want to iterate between our start string and our end, our start pipe and our end pipe. Okay, so it's just going to be from new start, okay, to new end. Okay, for i in this range, okay, now I want to say if new string, where's our new string? Okay, I'll go ahead and comment this guy also just so we're not seeing him. If new string, uh, if new s of i equal equal asterisk, okay. If his asterisk while we're iterating through that bound, what do we want to do? We want to increment count, okay. Then once we're done with this for loop completely, we want to append to our output, okay. Let's go and see our output. We, we want to append whatever value count is. I'll put that. Okay, I'll put that up and count. Okay, now once this big for loop is done executing, we wanna return um, outputs, not count. Okay, I believe this is correct. Let's go ahead and print him and just make sure. Okay, bam, two and three. Okay, where, where's that example? Okay, that example, yeah, we're expecting two and three okay which is correct okay but now this uh, let me go ahead and clean up the code first by removing all this comment so it's easier to visualize it looks cleaner on the eyes okay good good so everything works fine but there's one error there's one error right here and, and i'll show you what it is but first let me kind of clean up this page so it looks better for you guys 
there's one error in one of the test cases. So we were given a test case where let's scroll down a little bit and see one of the test cases. Let's try it for. Okay, let's try for for. Uh, let's try not this test case. We're gonna try that test case. But first, there's there's one test case that's kind of tricky. Okay, so let's try let's try this test case right here. Okay, so in this case, S is gonna be asterisk pipe asterisk pipe. Okay, and our start index is just gonna be a simple array of one. And our end index is gonna be three. Okay, let's run this and see what happens. Bam, we get zero. Is that what we're expecting? Yeah, there is no compartment with string, right? So we're expecting zero. So that is correct. Okay, that's one test case. Okay, now let's try this test case right here. Let's try this one right here. Okay, so it's star string star pipe star okay I believe this is what it is okay then our start index is 1 our end index is 6 okay let's try this and see what we get then we get 2 okay which works this is the right test case so this test case we do good for this test case it's not a problem we do good for this test case okay which which is this one we just saw here right we do good for this one it's not a problem so yeah apparently we're, this 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 works so that's it for the video. But what if what if a test case? That's one edge case. Say say we're given a bound that is so small, it's just less than two elements. Okay, a bound that is so small is less than two elements. In that situation, what would we do? So say we were given something like this, something like this. Okay, so where it's star pipe star pipe. Okay, okay, and our start index, our start indices are one and one, and our end indices are one. And three okay let's see what this will be good this gives us an error why because the start index is from one to one is nothing okay so for this to, to, to take care of this case I have to put in an if check right here right after we, we get our, um, our our new s so I have to say if length of new s okay if this length is less than two okay meaning it's just a pipe it's just less than two right <laughs> just a pipe and less than two is one meaning there's one or there's zero items i want to skip that iteration of the loop i want to skip that iteration and just keep going so this should fix it now and bam zero is what we get which in this case our output should be zero so that's it for the video guys i hope this code was helpful and we'll see you in the next one be sure to study for your interviews